On the first day, we did kneel jump, wrist carry, and Alaskan. To start of the event, Colton Paul got first place in the kneel jump. Then, Tyson Olsen got third in wrist carry. To end out the night, Colton Paul got first place in the Alaskan high kick. Hi, I'm Tessa Anderson. I school here at Mount Edgecombe, and I just went to NYO State, and I competed in one foot, two foot, seal hop, and scissor broad jump. In seal hop and one foot, I placed third. In scissor broad, I placed second, and in two foot, I placed first. Um, my highlight would be winning the Autumn Ridley Award uh, with Colton Paul. Yeah, so it's the top like female athlete at the competition, so I got the most points for females, and I tied with Lydia Albert. My favorite event was scissor broad jump. I went 27 feet and seven inches. On the second day, we did scissor broad jump, Eskimo stick pole, one arm reach, and two foot high kick. At the beginning of day two, Colton Paul got second in the one hand reach. For the two foot high kick, both Tessa Anderson and Colton Paul took home first, with Colton tying the state record at 101 inches. Hi, my name is Colton Paul. I am a four-year senior of Mount Etchum High School. I'm from Kipnuk, Alaska, and I've been doing the games for 11 years. I placed top three in all the events that I qualified for. Um, I got third place in the seal hop, second place in one-arm reach, and first place in five events, which were the kneel jump, Alaskan high kick, two-foot high kick, one-foot high kick, and scissor broad jump. I tied the state record for two-foot high kick, which was 101 inches and I broke the world record for scissor broad jump at 38 feet and 7 inches. Just a foot and 2 inches from the past world record. So uh, throughout the whole school year I've been training nothing but plyometrics and uh, just weight training for increasing my vertical jump and my distant broad jumps. I'd say my favorite moment would be tying the record for two foot high kick because two foot wasn't really my thing growing up or throughout my in my career. Um, but recently I found out that I am capable of doing two foot eye kick and that I can get, you know, up there. I'm like, okay, I'll see, see where this one can go. Well, my advice for younger generations, um, it's okay at, on where you start, like whether you're young, whether you're old. Just see where you're good at. Try every event that you can do. And if you know that you're good at a certain event, keep training on that one and you'll have potential for it. Mm -hmm. Um, always and always have the mindset to just get that target. Always get the target, even if you're missing, even if you're, even if you're not, don't really have good form. Just keep on trying. You'll eventually get good at it. So I gotta, I gotta keep going. I'm not done yet. I'm not done. On the last day, we did Indian stick pull, one foot high kick, and seal hop. For the Indian stick pull, Donovan Stephen Sandifer took home third. For the one-foot high kick, Tessa Anderson placed third. Colton Paul had another first place finish in the one-foot high kick. For the seal hop, both Tessa Anderson and Colton Paul took third, both hopping over 100 feet. Tessa Anderson and Colton Paul both won the Autumn Ridley Outstanding Athlete Awards. And the Mount Ashkin Braves won the state competition, getting 53 points. After the third day of NYO, we went to get air and had fun there. Stay tuned to the cutting edge!